As we delve into the fascinating tapestry of life that was Alexander McQueen's, we must start from the very beginning. Born Lee Alexander McQueen in the heart of London's East End, he was the youngest of six children, to a taxi driver father and a teacher mother. Though his neighborhood was marked by simplicity, the young McQueen's dreams and aspirations knew no bounds. He discovered his love for fashion early on, inspired by the diverse and lively streets of London. His earliest memories revolve around drawing clothes and his fascination with the power that dressing up held. He loved how it could transform ordinary individuals into extraordinary entities, and this passion for transformation would come to define much of his career. School was challenging for McQueen. He was dyslexic and often felt misunderstood by his teachers. But it was his mother Joyce, a woman of unparalleled strength and wisdom, who told him that being different was not a weakness but a strength. Her words were his guiding light, always encouraging him to embrace his uniqueness. Alexander McQueen was only 16 when he left school. He made his first foray into the world of fashion by securing an apprenticeship at Savile Row Tailors Anderson and Shepard. It was there that he honed his exceptional tailoring skills, catching the eye of industry titans with his meticulous craftsmanship and unique vision. During his time at Savile Row, McQueen developed a knack for challenging conventions. He was unafraid to push boundaries, infusing traditional tailoring with innovative cuts and daring silhouettes. His audacious designs were not always appreciated, but McQueen was undeterred. He was paving his own path in the fashion industry. After Savile Row, he moved on to work for theatrical costumier Angels and Bermans. Here, he delved into the art of costume design, fostering a sense of drama and spectacle that would become an integral part of his fashion shows. The theatricality of his designs combined with his exceptional tailoring skills distinguished him from other designers. McQueen's professional ascent was not without personal hardships. The fashion industry can be cutthroat, and McQueen was often under immense pressure to continually innovate and produce remarkable collections. His close friends and family were his rock during these tough times. His mother Joyce, in particular, was his constant pillar of support. In 1992, McQueen enrolled at Central St. Martin's for a master's degree in fashion. His graduation collection, titled, Jack the Ripper Stalks His Victims, received critical acclaim. His designs were bold and daring, challenging the traditional norms of beauty and femininity. This collection served as a testament to McQueen's prodigious talent and marked the beginning of his journey as an influential figure in fashion. McQueen's career skyrocketed after his graduation. He became known for his avant-garde designs and spectacular runway shows. Each collection was a narrative, telling a story through clothes. His pieces were more than just garments, they were embodiments of emotions, expressions of his deepest thoughts and experiences. His relationships were as passionate as his work. His longest romantic involvement was with George Forsyth, with whom he had a mock wedding ceremony in 2000. This relationship, filled with both love and hardship, impacted his personal and professional life profoundly. As much as McQueen was renowned for his dramatic runway shows, he was equally known for his ability to connect with the people who worked with him. His relationship with Isabella Blow, a fashion stylist and journalist, was one of mutual respect and admiration. Blow, who purchased McQueen's entire graduation collection, was an integral part of his rise to fame. The untimely death of Isabella Blow in 2007 deeply affected McQueen. They shared a bond that transcended the professional realm, their relationship built on mutual understanding and shared passions. Blow's death was a significant loss for McQueen, casting a dark shadow on his life. McQueen's creations often drew from history, art, and culture. He admired the works of artists like Frida Kahlo and referenced them in his collections. He also found inspiration in the macabre, exploring themes of death, decay, and darkness. His fascination with the grotesque was not for shock value. Instead, it was a reflection of his belief that beauty could be found in the most unexpected places. His mother Joyce was a constant presence in his life, her undying support and belief in his talent a beacon of hope during tough times. Her death in 2010 left a void in McQueen's life that seemed impossible to fill. Joyce was his biggest cheerleader, always encouraging him to push the boundaries and redefine fashion. Despite the fame and success, McQueen remained true to his roots. He was proud of his working-class background and often incorporated elements of it into his work. He never shied away from addressing social issues through his designs, using fashion as a medium to make powerful statements. 
McQueen's collections often demonstrated his unique ability to fuse the traditional with the contemporary. He valued craftsmanship and skill, working closely with his ateliers to ensure each garment was flawlessly executed. His tailoring skills, honed at Savile Row, set his work apart from other designers. His collection, Highland Rape, 1995, caused a stir in the fashion industry, seen as shocking and controversial. However, McQueen defended it as a critique of England's historical atrocities against Scotland, his ancestral home. This collection showcased his penchant for storytelling and confronting the uncomfortable. In his professional life, McQueen was known for his commitment to his craft. He was a perfectionist, paying close attention to the smallest details. He expected the same level of commitment from his team. It was this relentless pursuit of perfection that led to his unparalleled success in the fashion world. McQueen's genius was not confined to fashion alone. He was an innovator, a pioneer who embraced technology. He made history in 1999 by featuring a robot spray painting a dress live on the runway, proving that fashion could be a site for technological experimentation. Behind the glamour and spectacle of his shows, McQueen grappled with personal demons. He battled depression and struggled with the demands and pressures of the fashion industry. Despite these struggles, he channeled his experiences into his designs, making them deeply personal. McQueen's romantic relationships were often fraught with challenges. His love life was a roller coaster, filled with passionate love affairs and heartbreaking separations. Despite the turmoil, his relationships deeply influenced his work, often providing the emotional fuel for his dramatic collections. His 2001 show, Voss, was perhaps the most poignant example of his ability to blend personal experiences with fashion. The show took place in a giant glass box, filled with moths and a single woman on a chaise lounge, a symbol of beauty and vulnerability. The collection was inspired by his experiences with mental health, the glass box serving as a metaphor for the way society scrutinizes those who are different. McQueen's relationship with his family remained strong throughout his life. His niece, Rachel McQueen, often served as a muse for his collections. The familial bond they shared was reflected in his work, grounding his often outlandish concepts with a touch of personal sentiment. Alexander McQueen's work was often marked by a deep sense of melancholy. This was a reflection of his own struggles with mental health. Despite these struggles, or perhaps because of them, he was able to create extraordinary art. His work served as an outlet, allowing him to express his deepest fears and desires. His 2008 collection, The Girl Who Lived in the Tree, was an ode to his love for storytelling. Inspired by a 600-year-old elm tree in his backyard, McQueen spun a fantastical tale of a girl escaping her dark reality into a world of beauty and freedom. The collection was a spectacular mix of couture and fairy tale, showcasing his ability to blend fantasy with fashion. Despite the fame and the pressure that came with it, McQueen remained deeply grounded. He valued the relationships he had formed over the years, from his closest friends to his dedicated team. He treated his staff as family, building a bond that went beyond the professional realm. Towards the end of his life, McQueen found solace in painting. This newfound passion allowed him to express his emotions in a different medium. He painted with the same intensity and passion he brought to his fashion design, creating pieces that were as evocative and complex as his couture creations. McQueen's final collection, Plato's Atlantis, 2010, was a testament to his genius. It was a fusion of fashion and technology, featuring digitally printed dresses and monstrous armadillo shoes. The collection was an exploration of a dystopian future where humanity has to adapt to rising sea levels, a reflection of his growing concern for the environment. Amidst the maelstrom of his life, McQueen found comfort in his dogs. He had a deep affection for his three pet dogs, treating them as family. They provided a source of unconditional love and companionship, often accompanying him to his studio and offering a respite from his tumultuous life. McQueen's relationship with Sarah Burton, his trusted design assistant, was one of mutual respect and admiration. They worked closely together for over a decade, their relationship built on a shared vision and commitment to the brand. Burton played a key role in shaping McQueen's collections, providing a female perspective that added depth and complexity to his designs. As we approach the end of Alexander McQueen's narrative, it is important to acknowledge the darker aspects of his life. His struggle with depression and substance abuse were often masked by his larger-than-life persona and his creative genius. Despite his outward success, his personal life was marred by struggles and hardships. 
McQueen's love for his craft never waned, despite the personal challenges he faced. Even during his darkest times, he continued to create breathtaking collections that pushed the boundaries of fashion. His commitment to his work was unwavering, a testament to his love for fashion and his indomitable spirit. The relationship between McQueen and his mother was one of unconditional love and mutual respect. Despite her passing, he carried her wisdom and teachings with him, allowing her memory to live on through his work. Her death, however, was a profound loss that deeply affected him, casting a dark shadow over his final days. So, as we bid farewell to the remarkable life of Alexander McQueen, we do so with a sense of gratitude and admiration. We thank him for his contribution to the world of fashion, for daring to be different, for his audacity, his genius, his resilience. Until we meet again, farewell.